Hello everybody and welcome to the Japanese class once again. Well, we've been doing a lot of things. We've been learning new forms, new ways of talking in Japanese, new expressions, a lot of uh, kanji characters. Now today also we will do something new. We will learn another new form in Japanese and of course a few kanji characters, a few expressions, a kotowaza, proverb and of course a lot of vocabulary. So well, before that as we always do, let us go over our assignments and see what we have done. So well, the first assignment that I gave you was match the kanji characters with the pictures below. So there are a few pictures here for you and there were a number of kanji characters below the pictures. You had to match them. So look at this picture and see, well there is a man sitting under a tree. So what does it look like? It is Yasumi and of course the reading is not given. You have to recognize from the picture and the kanji characters. Then we have Hairu. There is a tree stem or a branch and something over here, another branch coming out or joining in, Hairu. Then we have the moon, Tsuki or Getsu yobi no Getsu. Then we have just the ki, ki which is tree, a hand, te. Then we have the sun and the associated meaning with the sun is de, so nichi. And this looks like ashi to me which is feet and this is he, you can see over here he or as you know kayobi, kayobi no ka. So this was your kanji practice, well you please write down the hiragana or the readings for it in hiragana and not in roman and practice your hiragana like that. Well this was given, this was hito similar to hairu and this was put there for you to find out which one is actually the correct one. Now we have a few fill in the blanks here with words given below. So well there were a few words for you and we will see what the words are. Watashi wa kyonen no rokugatsu ni after time expression ni ryoko o shimashita. Okasan to otosan mo isho datta kara isho deshita plain form datta kara because they were together tottemo very degree of something tottemo exceptionally very tanoshikatta this tanoshii past tense tanoshi katta i was very very happy ryoshin to issho ni iro iro na omoshiroi tokoro o mimashita ryoshin is parents polite for otosan okasan is ryoshin and polite for someone's parents is go ryoshin we did this polite word go last time go jyusho so well another go example is go ryoshin to issho ni iro iro na omoshiroi tokoro o mimashita tokoro is place ryoko no toki tenki mo yokatta kara nan demo dekimashita ii deshita i have done this with you in class e is good and past tense for e is yokatta nan demo anything deki mashita i was able to do it tatoeba for example yama nobori o shimashita yama nobori is climbing mountains o shimashita bijutsukan e ikimashita bijutsukan is museum takusan oishi fransu ryori mo 
食べましたそして1週間後に after 1週間に again time 東京へ帰りました You can also use 戻りました over here which also means to return because you are already living in this place and you are returning to this place then watashi wa mai toshi every year mai nen or mai toshi kazoku to issho ni kazoku to or kazoku to issho ni ryoko o shitai i want to do kanai mo so omoi mas or so omotte imas she also things like this now there are a few things over here which we need to do so very quickly i will do with you on the board the first one is dash no toki toki means at that time for example gakko no toki gakko no toki when i was in school daigaku no toki daigaku no toki when i was in the university so you can use toki like this or kodomo no toki kodomo no toki when i was a child so you can use toki like this very very freely then you have tatoeba tatoeba we have already done once means for example then you have takusan over here which is takusan takusan means i have i think done it once in class earlier but once again for you takusan means amount something that can be counted that can be measured and means lots and yoku again means lots but yoku cannot be counted cannot be measured it is degree of something but cannot be measured cannot be seen then what do we have kairimashita i just told you modorimasu can also be used then maitoshi is every year and then we have something over here so omotte imas which i will do a little later because that is what we plan to do today now there is some more kanji practice for you write the opposites for the kanji characters given below takai yasui kuroi shiroi iku kuru or kimas then mai which is front ushiro gogo afternoon gozen morning and atarashi furui so well this was kanji for you write the hiragana once again for all the characters given here it will help you you can practice your hiragana like that and this was these are two kanji characters just put there for you to find out which one is actually the correct one then we have fill in the blank spaces with appropriate interrogative words and particles so well the first one is nomimono wa aishite ga ii desu ka kocha ga ii desu ka then kaeru mai ni watashi no heya ni kite kudasai kaeru mai ni before returning please come to my room then ryoko wa doko ga ii desu ka rao san donna kagu kagu is furniture donna kagu o kaitai desu ka rao san wa mo kotatsu o kaimashita ka mo we did mo last time mo means already so rao san you have already bought a kotatsu kotatsu is a low lying center table very 
very very liked by the Japanese. So, they all have a kotatsu at home. Then kondo no yasumi ni doko ka e ikimashou ka, doko ka is somewhere. Then sha wa mada desu ne, not yet and mo rokuji desu ka, already rokuji desu ka. So, we have one more over here, mada which means not yet and mo means mo with a long sound means already. Mo rokuji desu ka? Mo jikan desu ka? It is already 6 o'clock or is, is it time now for whatever activity? Mo jikan desu ka? And mo kaimashita ka? Have you already bought it? And iie mada desu or hai so desu. I have bought it. So, you can use mo and mada like this. Then change verb forms and fill in the blank spaces. So, well let us see. Shumatsu ni konsato o mini ikimasen ka. So, miru is given over here. Change this form to to see. So, mini ikimasen ka for the purpose of. Then kanji ga muzukashikute cannot read yome nai tanaka san wa kaisha o tsumori now what does tsumori take tsumori takes a plain verb so yamemas yameru tsumori des intend to leave kono hon wa omoshiroi kara yomu is the plain form Please read, yonde kudasai. Then Rao san wa kagu o bot kai mashita. Kondo no yasumi ni party o let's do shimasho. Then watashi wa mainichi bus de don't want to go. Ikitaku nai. Mo jikan desu. Hayaku ikimasho. Already it is time. Let us go very, very quickly. Then, onaka ippai desu kara mo cannot eat. Taberare masen. Onaka is stomach, ippai is lots to eat. Thus, thus I cannot eat any more. Mo taberare masen. Cannot eat any more. Then, watashi wa isha ni nari tai. I want to become a doctor. So, this is some of your change the forms, verb forms. Practice these. Now, there is a small radio dialogue for you. Just listen to the dialogue and then I will do the explanation. Rao-san wa ima doko desu ka? Watashi wa ima Delhi ni sundeimasu. Delhi wa endo no shuto desu ne? Ah, so desu. Delhi wa donna machi desu ka? Kirei de ooki na machi desu. Delhi to Tokyo to dochira ga ooki desu ka? Yoku wakaranai kedo Tokyo no hou ga Delhi yori ooki to omoimasu. Jaa, Delhi to Tokyo to dochira ga furui desu ka? Delhi no hou ga Tokyo yori motto furui ka mo shiremasen. Well, I will read it out once to you and then let me see how much you have understood. Tanaka and Rao. Tanaka san to Rao san no kaiwa desu. Kaiwa is conversation as you know. Then, Rao san wa ima doko desu ka? Watashi wa ima Delhi ni sundeimasu. Delhi is Delhi. Delhi ni sundeimasu. I am living in Delhi. Delhi wa Indo no shuto desu ne? So this. Delhi wa donna machi desu ka? Kirei de ooki na machi desu. Ooki na. So you will notice that ooki, ooki, ooki is an I adjective, but 
sometimes na is also used with oki oki na and also we have another adjective which is chi sai chi sa na chi sa na is used so these two adjectives do take na after them sometimes as you can see over here kirei de oki na machi desu deri to tokyo to dochira ga oki desu ka we did this last time deri to tokyo to dochira ga oki desu ka yoku wakaranai kedo yoku again you know i do not know much about this lots about this but tokyo no hou ga deri yori oki to omoimasu i think that tokyo is larger than delhi ja deri to tokyo to dochira ga furui desu ka so desu ne you could also add this in your uh, kaiwa so desu ne when you actually want some time to think deri no hou ga tokyo yori motto furui kamo shiremasen i am not sure but delhi could be more older than tokyo kamo shiremasen and to omoimasu is what we are going to do today so please concentrate on those two things well this is in your script there are a few kanjis from here which we will do for example machi tokyo and a few others omoimas and this is translation in english so well you can go over it now what we have to do is to omoimas you can see what is written over here to omoimas indicates the opinion of the speaker and translates to i think that i thought that in english it is preceded by verb in plain form adjectives and nouns and there are a lot of examples given over here for example the first one is hon wa hon wa omo shiroi to omoi mas i think it means i think that the book is interesting hon wa omo shiroku nai to omoi mas simple hon wa omoshiroi you understand this hon wa omoshiroi this that the hon is interesting 100% sure that the book is very very interesting but if you say hon wa omoshiroi to omoimas i think that the book is interesting then you are not 100% sure definitely so this comes to about 80% 85% 75% whichever way you want to take it that you are not very sure but yes to a great extent you can say that the book is interesting so well hon wa omoshiroi to omoimas and if you want to say omoshiroku nai so if you say hon wa omoshiroku nai omoshiroku nai desu 100% i did not find the book interesting now if you say hon wa omoshiroku nai to omoimasu so you are just softening your statement also and not saying directly that i did not like the book omoshiroku nai to omoimasu i think that the book is not that interesting well then you have genki kodomo wa genki desu kodomo wa genki desu exactly like this na adjective kodomo wa genki desu or genki da to omoi mas i think he is in good health or 
子どもは元気じゃありません。元気じゃないと思います。I think he is not in good health. So, well, what can you notice now from here? One thing is very clear that whatever comes before to omoimas will always be in plain form. Omoimas means to think, I think so, I thought so, and to over here is a particle which shows whatever is being said over here is actually quoted. So, it is more of a quotation particle used with omoimas and a number of other verbs as well. So, well you have genki and I adjective over here and then you have verbs over here you can see exactly like this hon o yomi mas. I will read the book or I am about to read the book. Hon o yomu to omoimas again in plain form and over here yoma nai to omoimas. You can see it very very clearly. I will write it once again for you, all of you, and remove all the extra part. You can see over here yomu and yoma nai. Yomu and yoma nai. Yoma nai to omoimas. Yomu to omoimas. Omoshiroi to omoimas. Omoshiroku nai to omoimas. Genki da to omoimas. Genki janai to omoimas. So you can see very, very clearly that to omoimas will always take plain form for I adjective, na adjective and verbs. Then you can practice here, there is a small conversation, Rao san wa jimushitsu ni imasu ka? Iru to omoimasu or inai to omoimasu. I think he is present and I think he is not present. Now, you can replace jimushitsu with hon. Rao san wa hon o yomimashita ka? Yonda to omoimasu and yomanakatta to omoimasu. I think he has read, I think he has not read. Rao san wa Tegami o kakimashita ka? Kaita to omoimasu. Kakanakatta to omoimasu. I think he has written. I think he has not written. Or you can also say over here, Kodomo wa tegami o kakimashita ka? Kaita to omoimasu. Kakanakatta to omoimasu. Rao san, kamera o kaimasu ka? I will buy, I think, I think I will not buy. Or Rao san, ashita kaisha e ikimasu ka? Hai, iku to omoimasu. I think I will go. Iie, ikanai to omoimasu. I do not think I will go. Rao san wa shumatsu ni watashi no uchi e kimasu ka? Tabun kuru to omoimasu yo. Maybe he will come or tabun konai to omoimasu. Maybe he will not come. So, you can practice to omoimasu in this manner and use it very, very freely because it helps you in conversation and telling something for which you may not be very sure. For example, you can see over here, what does this show? This is a kyoshitsu, 
これは教室ですね。先生が今入りました。そして生徒たちは今座っています。今何時ですか ?9 時です。クラスは何時に始まりますかみんな話してますよね、今。9時ですから、クラスは9時に始まると思います。You can see it is in plain form. Then again, we have another class. 先生は今教えています。あいうえを今黒板にね書いてありますから見てください皆さん。そして生徒たちは先生のことを聞いてます。今10時半です。クラスは何時に終わりますか ?10 時半に終わると思います。His friend is telling him 10時半に終わると思います。So you can practice 思います。Like this. Now, as I told you a little while ago, particle to is used with 思います。Is also used with います。And this is similar to direct and indirect speech, though in Japanese. It's not very clear what is direct and what is indirect. Just by adding to before imashita, automatically what comes before to is in quotes. Please remember that. And as with omoimas or to omoimas, before to imashita also the verb is in. Plain form, as you can see from the example over here. Rao san wa eiga wa omoshiroi to imashita. He was saying that the picture is interesting. Rao san wa eiga wa omoshiroku nai to imashita. He said that the picture was not interesting. Oka san wa genki desu or genki da. と言いました。He said that お母さんは元気。お母さんは元気じゃないと言いました。He said that お母さん is not in good health, in good shape. お母さんは元気だったと言いました。He said that his mother was in good health or 元気じゃなかったと言いました。Now With verbs as well, Rao san wa eiga o mini iku to imashita. Rao san was saying that he will go to see the film. Rao san wa eiga o mini ikanai to imashita. He said that he will not go and see the film. So, this is how to imashita is used in a similar manner as to omoimas is. Used, which we saw just now. And then there is another way of using to imas. Now, what is that? Let us see very quickly. Now you can practice this. Well, Rao san to you hito o shitte imas ka? It is a small conversation. Then I will tell you how it is to be done. Rao san to you hito o shitte imas ka? Hai. 私の友達ですよ。どうして聞きますか ?Why are you asking? 何かありましたか ?Did something happen?Is there a problem? この間、The other day、会議で会ったときに、彼はあなたを知っていると言っていました。So there are a lot of things over here. と、い、ま、した。He said that, or he was saying that, or he said. 映画は面白いと言いました。映画は面白いと言いました。Now we have a different, this is direct and indirect speech in quotes, but we have something very different over here. Rao san to you hito o shitte imasu ka? Rao san 
Toyu Hito. Rao san to you hito. This is not to imashita. To you hito is person who is called Rao san, is what it means. Person hito who is called Rao san. This person do you know? Shitte imasu ka? Hai, watashi no tomodachi desu yo. Doshite kikimasu ka? Why are you asking? Kono aida, that day, the other day, kaigi de atta toki ni. We did toki earlier, kodomo no toki. Kodomo no toki or gakusei no toki. Atta toki ni. Ni, meaning when I met him. Atta toki ni. Tabeta toki ni. When I had it. Itta toki ni. When I went. So, ta past tense plus toki ni. At that time. So, at that specific time when a certain activity happened. Verb in past form plus toki ni. Kaigi de atta toki ni the other day when I met him at the meeting. Kare is he wa anata o shitte iru to itte imashita. He was saying that he knows you. So, well, there are a lot of things here. Hashi to you mono. Hashi to you mono. Thing, a thing, mono is a thing, thing which is called hashi or ohashi. Ohashi is chopsticks. Hashi to you mono de tabe mas. So, mono which is called hashi, one eats with that. Then, empitsu. To you mono de kakimas. Empitsu to you mono de kakimas. Mono, a thing which is called empitsu, sore de kakimas. So, this is how you would use to you mono. Kanji to you mono wa muzukashi desu. Kanji to you, this thing which is kanji is a little. Now there was a word over there, kamoshire masen. Kamoshire masen. Now please remember that kamoshire masen is in the negative. There is only one form for kamoshire masen, which is this, which is in the negative, but it has nothing to do with the negative at all. It means 50 percent the work is going to be done. Okay? For example, if you say ashita watashi wa ikimasu. Watashi wa ashita ikimasu. When you say this, then this is 100 percent that you will go or watashi wa ashita iki. Masen. I will not go. Wata shiva ashita iku to omoi mas. To omoi mas. Wata shiva ashita iku to omoi mas. I think I will go tomorrow. So I am not very sure like here that I will go. I think that I will go. Watashi wa ashita ika nai. Negative. To omoimasu. I think I will not go tomorrow. So, I am again not very sure, but over here I am 100 percent sure. Now, if I say watashi wa ashita iku kamoshiremasen.
kamo shire masen. Then I may or may not go tomorrow. Watashi wa ashita iku kamo shire masen or ikanai kamo shire masen is I may go tomorrow or I may not go tomorrow with iku and ikanai. So again kamo shire masen will take plain form of the verb 1 and 2. If you say iku kamo shire masen then kanose of going is more, possibility of going is more and if you say ikanai kamo shire masen then possibility of not going is more. That is the only difference over here. Kamo shire masen is not in the negative. Please remember that. You can see over here it is written shows that there is only a 50 percent possibility of the action denoted by the verb. May do, may not do. You can practice over here to you which we did just now. What does this look like? This looks like a trumpet. Kore wa nan to yu mono desu ka? What is this thing over here? What is it called? Nan to yu mono. Now, torampetto to yu mono desu. This mono is a torampet, is called a torampetto, is called a trumpet. Or you could also say, kore wa nan to yu mono desu ka? A direct answer. Torampetto des. Also, you could also ask, and you have done it earlier in one of our lessons, kore wa nihongo de nan to imasu ka? You have done kore wa nihongo de nan desu ka? Now, a better way of doing it is kore wa nihongo de nan to imasu ka, which you did just now, or kore wa nan to yu mono desu ka? A much better way of asking. Torampetto to imasu. You can also answer as torampetto desu or torampetto to imasu. Now, you know what this is? This is a strawberry. So, well, kore wa nan to yu kodamono desu ka? Ichigo to yu kodamono this. Ichigo to you to imasu. It is called Ichigo. This kudamono, this fruit is called Ichigo. Ichigo this a direct answer. So, well you can practice like this to omoimasu, to imashita, to imasu, to you mono, nan to you mono desu ka? We did this earlier, Nihongo de nan desu ka? Over here you can ask in a better way, Nihongo de nan to imasu ka? Or Nihongo de nan to yu mono desu ka? Now we have katakana over here as we have been doing, this is the da series. Da, ji, zu, de and do. But what you have to remember is that in hiragana this and this is not used. It is da, ji, zu, de and do. This is what is used. Though it is given over here, da ji zu de and do, and of course in katakana da ji zu de and do, all these syllables are used. This is your da series clearly given for you. You can practice. Now. There are a lot of kanjis today for you, but very simple kanjis. We will do them very, very quickly. There is this kanji of 
sumu, which is to live. So, well, very simple 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Su and mu. Sumu is to live. Please, once again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Sumu. So, it is a 7 stroke character, you can see over here, it is a 7 stroke character. Then we have omo, we did omo just now, omo imas. So, well, you have done this one, you remember doing this one, this is kuchi and what does this look like? This is to which is 10, jiu, so you combine the two, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and you have this over here, this means o mo u, o mo i must to think. This is a 9 stroke character as you can see very clearly. Then we have machi, of course, over here, machi is again similar to o mo u, this character is similar and then we have a j over here. Very, very simple, a little longish and j. So, well, this is machi, this is a 7 stroke character and then we have in the end over here furui, simple, you have done ju which is 10 and then you have also done kuchi which is mouth. So, well, furui. Furui. Furui means old and please remember hito is not furui, things are furui. So, hon wa furui des and not hito wa furui des. Then we have done seasons earlier. If you remember we did harunatsu, aki and fuyu. So, today we will do higashi, kita, nishi and minami. So, the first one you have done with, we have done earlier with uh, Tokyo with this word Tokyo earlier in class. So, very, very quickly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. This is Higashi. Once again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Higashi. Now, you remember doing this, which is shi, meaning 4. So, well, a little similar to this, not exactly same, but well, 1, 2, 3, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. This is nishi means west. Then we have kita which is even simpler 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This looks like 7 does not it? Roku and shichi. So, well 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This is Kita. And then we have in the end Minami. Remember doing this Ju. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you have the sign of Yen. Of course, this is not the way I am, I am repeating it again and again. Please, this is not the way to learn Japanese at all, but because time is short and there are a lot of things to do, it is not possible to do. Um, kanji characters the way they are supposed to be done. So, well, we will do them very, very quickly as words once again from the beginning 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Higashi, Nishi, Kita and then we have Minami for you. 
there are other readings also. Higashi is To, Nishi is Zai, then Kita is Ho and Minami is Nan. You can see over here and all the stroke order is given, you can practice it. A very interesting kotowaza which we all should do and it does tell about the Japanese people as well. Well, what does this look like? There is this old lady banging into something and about to fall and then we have korobanu saki no tsue, korobanu saki no tsue, korobu is to fall, saki is ahead or earlier, tsue is the stick. So, what does it look like now? Can you tell me? Well, it is very, very simple. You can see over here, use a walking stick lest you fall down. So, what does it mean now? Can you tell me? Literal meaning, literal translation of this kotowaza, of this proverb is that use a walking stick when you are walking in case you fall down. But it has a very, very deep meaning that prevention is better than cure. Well, we all know in all cultures it is taught to be prepared for any eventuality, to be prepared for what is coming rather than actually falling sick and then treating yourself. So, one has to be prepared, one has to be, one has to be intelligent enough, prudent enough to understand that it is always better to do things beforehand. One should not wait for something to happen. For that, we have to work beforehand, prepare ourselves beforehand and then work. Well, the first kanji over here is korobu, which means to fall, saki means earlier, before or ahead and tsue means walking stick or this bow or stick over here. So, this old lady is all prepared, set that in case she stumbles on something, steps on something, she has the stick to support her. Prevention is better than cure. Now, we have a small expression here. You can see two people talking very nicely, chirpily over here. And what are they saying? Rao san, shibaraku desu ne. Shibaraku is an expression which says, meaning meeting you after a long time. And the ladies say, sashiburi. She Buri, sashiburi. The ladies say sashiburi. So please, shibaraku is male speech. Rao san, shibaraku desu ne, meeting you after a long time. So desu ne, Tanaka san. Genki and genki desu ka is not used. Genki with a rising intonation. Then we have, um, genki yo, informal. Genki yo, Rao san no ronbun hapyo wa dou datta? How was your thesis presentation? He is inquiring. Yokatta to omou yo, again informal. Yokatta to omoimas is not being used. Yokatta to omou yo, Tanaka san, saikin isogashi desu ne. You seem to be very busy these days. Saikin, isogashi desu ne. A very, very common greeting, I would say, in Japan. Nobody says that you are free. It looks as if you are very, very busy. So, being busy is not something bad. In fact, sitting at home idle or not doing anything is considered actually quite bad in Japan. So, everybody is very conscious of this fact and they all work and they do not mind that they are busy. More the work, the better it is. So, that is how 
the Japanese people think. So, well, Saiki ni isogashi desu ne. Chotto ne. Chotto ne is very, very Japanese where you don't want to talk about your work, but you just say yes, that's, that's right, and you just leave it at that. And again, ah, so, I see. So, this is expressions and conversation. Now you have your vocabulary over here. Kimochi and kibun almost mean the same. Guai is condition, general condition of health. Raku is easy. Benri, convenient to use or to move about. Chuka is Chinese food or cuisine. Then uh, tsugi is next. Kondo is next time. Kono aida, the other day or that day, particular day. Aida is in between or interval or space. So, you can use these in sentences, make sentences. And then, now my work is over. Your work begins now. You have to do your assignments at home. There is not much because already you have to do a lot of, lot of things today that you have learnt. So, well, there is kanji practice. Again, kanji with hiragana readings. And then you have some grammar which you have to do. Please fill in the blanks with words given here. These are the words. You have to fill in the blanks. And then you have one more change the words into proper forms and make meaningful sentences. So, the verbs are given over here, words are given over here. You have to change them and match with what is given outside the brackets. So, please do that and with this I will finish for today. So, minasan, kyo wa kore de owarimasu. Mata kondo aimashou. Hai, arigato. So, well, thank you very much and see you again next time.